Hola, uh, buenos días, buenas tardes o oh, buenas noches. Yo soy Osvaldo Ojeda Casimiro. Um, I am the sixth, one of the sixth grade Spanish teachers. Um, I hope that you've heard me uh, get the Zoom, hopefully, with your student just kind of going a little crazy. Just trying to get them to get excited about Espanol. Uh, this will be my 23rd year um, teaching at IMS. Uh, this is the only school I've taught at. As far as I'm concerned, every school is as awesome as IMS, but I know that's not the case. Uh, I love it here. So um, I look forward to hopefully uh, teaching your son or daughter um, some Espanol and maybe a little bit about the Spanish speaking cultures, especially uh, the Mexican culture. That's where I was born. Um, so uh, we will definitely discuss some culture in our Spanish classroom. Um, I went to UW, my two boys, they go to Washington State. So November is kind of crazy. Well, who knows how it's been crazy though since the beginning of the school year, but uh, it'll be it'll be interesting this year as far as uh, being at home uh, or online and maybe hybrid later or whatever. You know we're ready for it. Um, I hope to see your son or daughter in the classroom so that we can uh, you know just be in the classroom, see each other, and so forth. So in our sixth grade classroom is that we focus on communication. Um, we don't focus too much, if any, on grammar. We just want them to be able to communicate in the target language, which is Spanish. Um, so there's a lot of in-class, in-Zoom instruction, okay? So it's, it's important that they are at the Zooms, that they are um, paying attention. The only thing they will need for my class is their iPad, of course, and their composition notebook. Um, composition notebook for them or spiral notebook for them to take any and all notes. Um, I don't, we don't use a textbook in seventh grade. Any of the materials that they need to have, I will provide them for them. I hope to not, um, I do not want them to have to copy anything at home, make uh, any copies from uh, handouts and anything like that. Um, I will put up uh, any handouts I want them to do and it just ask them to write the answers for me. Um, so I hope that the notebook is, is the only thing they'll need and that's where they'll put in all their assignments, all their notes, all of their, um, all of the answers to anything, anything at all with Espanol needs to go in their composition notebook. Now, they, the way they're gonna be graded is, uh, is this way. 40% uh, of the grade is gonna be an in-class. That's just what we're doing. Them submitting it to Schoology or just holding up a picture of it for me so that I can see it. Um, and then every once in a while, they'll have a homework assignment and they'll usually be able to, to finish this. Hopefully, be, be, you know, in five or 10 minutes, they should be able to finish the homework assignment that they have for me. And then they'll just upload a picture of that to Schoology for me. Um, and if they can't, if they're stuck uploading, if they, they cannot upload the picture to Schoology for some reason or another, they can come to my Zoom office hours and just, just hold it up again, you know, just hold it up to the camera while we're on Zoom. And I can definitely give you credit for that. And then exams is the other 30% of their grade. Um, because of online learning, because of the way uh, that the, the exams will work, because th they don't have to know how to spell Spanish words. They just need to know what the Spanish words mean. So the exams in, in this way are just gonna be basically whether they they're gonna get the 100% if they complete the exam. Hopefully the exam uh, is done, um, well, they're, 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 they, they're doing the test just so that they can see where they stand in their learning, okay? Just so that they can see where they are um, having issues, having problems understanding this or that. That's what the exams are for. Not necessarily for me to gauge the level of, of, the level of knowledge they have, but it's for them to see where their level of learning is at. Now, um, the best way to get in touch with me is through email, Send me an email. 
about any and all issues. After today, I mean, you've seen your students, you've heard your students with me in, in the Zoom, you've seen them in the Zoom. What's, you know, are there any issues that I should know about, about making my Spanish class a little better for them, easier? I know that sometimes when I was at the UW, one of my professors was always to, uh, it made me, he made me feel like um, it was something way above my head that we were covering. And I don't know if I learned too many things in this class other than just survive the class. And so I don't want your students, your student to be like that in my classroom. If there's anything I can do to make the class uh, fun, less, less stressful, uh, please let me know. The best way for that is just shoot me an email. I will I check it often just because, I mean, we're online anyway, so I'm always checking the emails. I won't rat you out. I won't tell you that, oh, so your parents said that we need to do this. No, no, no. I will, I will take credit for any changes that we need to make. Uh, just anything at all, any concerns, please let me know. Your students know that the best way for them to communicate with me is through messages on Schoology or the office hours from 1240 to 115, Monday through Friday. I'm there. It's just a Zoom meeting. They show up, we take care of any questions and they get going, okay? So let me know what's going on, if there's any issues, and I will work to make sure that their uh, experience in my Spanish class is a positive one. Um, thank you very much. Hasta luego.